Well, hello and welcome to our very first playback training tutorial. We're going to start off by um, adding a song and this is that's going to be um, the, the focus for this clip. So we're going to, we want to add songs that are on our playlist and then we want to pick the key that we want to add them in and that's all we're going to do for this session. So first I'm going to go over to my notes, wherever you've got the set list written down. I've got Lion in the Lamb, Living Hope, Cornerstone and a Worship Medley by Tyron Wells. Um, which is Reckless Love, O Come to the Altar, and Great Are You Lord, all kind of wrapped in, into one. So I'm going to click on the big Add add a Song button. Then I'm going to search the song that I want. I'm going to go to Line and the Lamb. Done. Hey, okay. I'm going to pick the version I like. There are many different versions, so it would be helpful if you already know what version um, you'd like to use. Uh, I usually go onto YouTube or Spotify and listen through some of the versions that are on playback because there might be something that is a bit more su uh, suitable for a Sunday morning. Um, especially now during live stream, I tend to pick um, worship teams or artists and tracks that have that have brought out milder versions of, of the songs that we um, we like to do on a Sunday morning. Um, just because it works with the theme or the feel that we have in the, uh, at the living room on a Sunday morning, um, rather than sounding like it's um, like we're performing in a very big auditorium, but really we're in a you know kind of twenty by twenty room. Um, so I'm going to pick "Line in the Lamb," the Bethel version. Don't have to worry about anything here other than the key. I want it in the key of G. Great. Then I can click on, you can also click on tracks to decide what it is you want to include. I know that we're going to have a cajon, so I probably won't add the drums um, on the Sunday morning. I might add it for the track so that when I send the guide track out to the team playing on Sunday, they could they get a feel for uh, what the beat is like if um, the person playing perhaps doesn't know the song that well. I'm going to go to add, and it's then going to add that to my playlist for me. Brilliant. So I'm going to add another song while that's downloading. I'm going to click on the plus button just right next to Lion and the Lamb. And my next song is Living Hope. Brilliant. Now, for this version um, of, of Living Hope, I'm actually going to use Living Room Sessions. They've, um, they've spent a lot of time... Um, adding atmospheric and percussive elements to a song that is reasonably like kind of big sounding um, and quite um, and has quite a lot going on on the track. So I'm going to click on Living Hope, Living Room Sessions. Um, we are using uh, the key of C for this Sunday, so that's why it's saying it's available for download. I'm going to click on it. It gives me the options of the things that I want to add. I'm okay adding all of those um, because we'll probably use all of them because it's already been developed for an acoustic sound. Um, I'm going to click on add. Um, so while that's going, I'm going to add the next song, which is, just go back, Cornerstone. The Cornerstone. I'm spelling that right. Okay, so again, we've got different versions. We've got the original Heel Song version, we've got the Worship Initiative version. Got a cutlass version, which will probably be a bit more kind of hardcore rock and roll, but I'm going to go with the living room sessions version. Um, again, um, I'll use this in the key of A, and I'll add that to my tracks. So these are all available for download. Then I'll go to my next track, which is the Worship Medley. So we go to the Torrent Wells version. Gonna do that in A as well. Boom. And that's it. So that's how we add the songs in the keys that we want. In the next clip, I'm going to discuss how we um, transition from one song to, to another on playback and, and the options that are available to us. So there'll think be things like crossfading or just transitioning from one to another, overlapping or stopping immediately after the next song. Because um, usually how we break it up is we, we'd have an opening song. So Lion in the Lamb, for example, will be our opening song. Then we have a worship um, session of about two songs um, after announcements. Um, and then we end off, of course, uh, 
with some type of response and that usually includes worship as well so that would be my worship medley um so yeah that will be on the next clip uh thanks for listening i hope it was really helpful